Welcome to the new moon in Taurus. What a time. What a time. Okay, we're going to start with Scribe's information. Oh, Biscuit Boo is here. Guys, Biscuit Boo is here. This was the original. Oh, there's more on the back. Oh, there's way more on the back. We're, we might be going with the paper. We'll see. Guys, I was trying to read it out. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to be going with the paper, I guess, and part of it from here. I, I was trying to read it out here so that I wasn't trying to make sense of any of my my, my quick little codes. Because much of this I get throughout the day, downloads throughout the day, when I'm either cleaning and purification or exercising in purification. And there's the divine. Hello. And so I try to read it down because I'm always like, I'm going to remember. And then, yeah, no, no. And then I'm like, what was that? I remember part of it and I don't remember the other part of it. So I'm really big at stopping myself or taking a little video when I can. Okay. This has to do with the two snakes. Libra. Restoring balance. Restoration to innocence. Restoration to the truth. Pure authentic innocence. Pure authentic truth. Connection to the creator, connection to the dawns of time, connection to the future through the present moment. This is big, guys. This is massive. Technology is great when we use it to our advantage. We just have to, we have to honor the balance. We also have to honor too, what is the environmental impact? You have to take that into consideration. It's part of creating with integrity of the light. Here's Biscuit Boo. Let's, let's let him say hi. What is he? Maybe he may make me want to chase him right now. Hi. Hi, Biscuit. Guys, we're honoring how much we love the animals. We're honoring our connection to nature. This reminds me of the strength card. And then, you know, the strength is honoring the fact that we're connected to them. And love. Love of life. Okay, he always loves to say hi because the energy is so healing, right? Now, I guess I'm going to look at my paper and then look at the This is the original. Yeah, okay. So, New Moon in Taurus, May 11th, 2021. Another May 11th. Okay, so another 11 connection. And it's connected to the bees and food and information. And understanding food is information. And it's connected to our expansion. And it, working with our solar plexus. But it's a recalibration with the sacral, the root, and the earth star. The earth. We are connected to the bees. So we're understanding the bees are going extinct. So we do what our part is, whatever you feel called to do on your mission work. In order to get that information out. In a healthy, productive way, right? We're not, we're healing from a five of wands charge. So we understand that we are like the bees and we are going to eat negative, the negative and transmute it into positive. And we really need to work with our diet to help us with this. To transmute this negative. And we're going to do this with and through love. And this is connected to kindness, tolerance, and compassion. This is finding the light in the dark. That is kindness, tolerance, and compassion. And that's that's healing from this five of wands charge. We're really finding out what we came here to do. It's like when you expand high enough, it's like you really see, oh, I came here to be the light in the dark. 
I came here to shine the truth. Like the light is connected to the truth, but it's in a peaceful way. It's in a peaceful way. It's in a way where we're honoring that person's place here on earth and their expansion and their time to see what they're seeing and having faith in that, having faith of working with the universe, having faith that, okay, so we're not seeing eye to eye because you haven't had this experience and I have had this experience, but guess what? I'm going to honor the fact that, you know, 10 years ago, I may have been exactly where you're at and I'm going to just honor what's being reflected back to me. You're at where you're at, I'm at where I'm at, but I'm I'm here, still here with the universe. I'm still here with the universe. I'm still here with creation. I still came here to expand. I still have me. I am love. I'm light. And I came here to be the light in the dark. I came here to be the light. Like, I didn't come actually here to fight. It's like, you know, so many people there, it's like, I came here to awaken others. I came here to share the truth, to spread the knowledge. But it's in a... It's in a way that's going to allow healing. It's in a way that's going to allow the expansion. It's going to be a way that we're going to be able to connect and move forward and heal from corruption to restore this justice. It's with love. It's with this tolerance, kindness, compassion. It's and like honoring this. We're a really big person. You know, I am a really big person. I need to put the love there too, not just the light. Not just the light, but the love too. So that may mean I put a boundary. That may mean I'm going to just step back and honor where you're at. But I'm still going to honor where I'm at. I'm still going to honor what I've seen. I'm still going to honor my truth. I just don't need to fight you with it. And we need to be okay with this. We need to be okay with where we're at. We need to be okay with working with the divine. We need to be okay with ourselves. Because if we're not okay with ourselves what like that's a lot where that insecurities right we're healing with insecurities we're working with our impulses it's it's the 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 wands energy the fire energy working with the king and queen of wands and we're going to get to that in a second okay so it's connected to a broken shift in perspective. Like many of us feel so broken. Many of us feel the world is so broken. We need to shift this perspective. We need to be the light in the dark. We need to heal through the energy of the opposites. We need to be the happiness in the sadness because we can transmute the negative because we're like the worker bees. We can eat this negative. We can transmute it into higher vibes. We can be this happiness in the sadness. We can be the peace in the pain. And guys, I got a download for the peace in the pain. Hey guys, so I was just working out and I got a massive download. And I was in that three of sorts completely. And it was from the tarot that's represented. And just feeling that is that feeling. And then realizing that Pleasure is connected to pain. They're just on opposite ends of the spectrum. And as I was thinking, I was thinking, you know, so much of the time we go from, you know, when we're creators, pain to pleasure, pleasure to pain. And it becomes our muse. It becomes our muse. And that's how we restore the balance, the center through self, and we find healing. We find the beauty there. We find the beauty in pain. We can find the peace in pain. And I found the peace in pain. I was sitting there in meditation, found the peace in pain. And, and then I saw the lemon skate. I saw the infinity symbol. I saw, I saw pain. I saw pain. And I was thinking of, you know, the dark and the light. And I saw it come. And I was thinking of how, it, you know, the principles of yin and yang. Yin, we have yin and yin, and we only go so far with yin, and then it flips into yang, and vice versa. And that was pain and pleasure. This was what was happening during the meditation, during the healing process, during the download, during what just happened. And it was releasing the pain, finding the peace, and then connecting to the pleasure. And as I was seeing the infinity symbol, the energy switch from pain to pleasure this came on the television and i want you guys to see what time it says 
what time it says, okay? And I want you all to see what's happening here, okay? What is really happening here? Thank you to this video on YouTube, published on May 4th, Woke Nation, 417 hertz, guys. Wow, that was spectacular. And it's connected to, like, the Care Bear and this information we don't want used against us, okay? So, and what that means is, we don't want the fact that I don't know, see how I really wrote this. At the end of the day, what's lower vibrational? Knows that we feel broken and is going to use that to their advantage. And this is not about getting stuck in fear and being like all lower vibe and be like, ah. No, this is saying, okay, yes, somewhat, I'm playing a game of chess with my energy right now because I came here on mission work in order to do this and expand, and everything I need is within me. I need to honor this because it's connected to my authentic truth, my, and my authentic truth is connected to my authentic light, and that's connected to my pure authentic innocence, and it's connected to the center. It's connected to the center of self and that Fibonacci sequence and spiral, but it's Knowing that we're not broken, we need to shift this perspective. We need to shift this, shift the perspective and know we're not broken. And we need to care bear, be, be like the care bearer that shines their light out. And that is connected to the 13 spheres of knowledge. So we just don't let, we don't let that knowledge be used against us. We just don't give it power over us because we are conscious. We're woke. We understand. It's okay. So it can't be taken from us. You have to let it be taken. We're not going to let it be taken. You can't, we're not going to let our energy be taken because you know why? We're going to protect ourselves by honoring the feminine. That's where the protection is. Regeneration, rest, the feminine, the 13 spheres of knowledge. So this is connected to that. That's where we're going to expand and heal. So we're going to love self through and with the divine. We will expand here. And this is connected to the lunar eclipse, the two snakes, now, somehow, this lunar eclipse is in Sagittarius, but it's connected to Libra. They keep showing me the connection between Sagittarius, hitting our mark and aim, and the lunar the lunar eclipse connection to Libra. And it has to do with restoring balance and expanding the light from the dark. And they showed me this connection right here, what we're doing. We're expanding with the light from the dark and how it's working. We're going to bring the light into the lower vibrations. And then we're going to see what we need to see. And then we're expand from the dark with the light. And this is connected to uh, the balance, the center, the transmutation, the metamorphosis. <clears throat> now, this is allowing us to heal from force and heal the masculine. We need to heal the masculine. Overexpansion from the masculine with the masculine has us unprotected as we are unbalanced. And this is how our energy is being stolen from us. And we're taking it back. We're taking back our right to heal. We're taking back our right to expand. Taking back our right to expand off the truth, off reality, off of being able to look at reality and expand with reality and do the harder thing and say, yo, I know this world is flipped. So we all say, okay, well, I've been really good. I did. T I went to my job from nine to five. I did all these things. I feel like I was a really good parent. Uh, now it's the weekend. I'm going to be bad. I'm going to put full pedal to the metal. And I'm just going to do whatever the, wa the what I want and fuck it. Fuck it. Burn it all down. No, we're not doing it that anymore. We're not doing this anymore. We're not allowing our energy to be stolen. What we're doing is we're healing with the masculine. We're not putting burdens we're not we're not not going to listen to self we're not going to continue to burden ourselves. what we're going to do is we're going to start honoring rest we're going to honoring time for regeneration we're going to honor the earth we're going to honor the feminine we're going to work with creation 
So we're going to create protection with the feminine by restoring the balance, the overexpansion with the masculine. So we're going to have a rest in order to create regeneration and the healing is going to begin here. And this is the creation of protection. So we're going to heal from force and where we are forcing ourselves to expand. And this is what we came here to do. This is why you feel like you don't fit into the world. Because you fucking feel forced like you're doing all this shit that you didn't come here to do. You came here to create a new. You came here to create your alignment. You're creating your alignment. You're creating your alignment through the energy of the opposites by what you don't resonate with. But it's go time. We're woke. We're expanding. We know this. We're not getting lost in this anymore. It's time for us to be a little bit more in that king of swords. You know what? I'm going to remove a little bit of mo emotion from this because I can use the sword. I can expand with my consciousness. I can see reality. I've, I've grieved from what I thought I knew to what I know now. And a lot of it does have to do with the healthcare system right now and the time we're in. And understanding that as much as the healthcare system has done for us in so many great ways, it's also because it's a financial institution and has been financially run. And we know what that means. There's corruption there. And it's also a business now. It's a business that's also taking from us. And not allowing us to see the truth at some spaces and places because there's a profit to be made there. And being able to see the truth, being able to honor the truth, being able to see, hmm, it's even like, you know, I don't, I don't really want to talk about this whole vaccine thing and give it power. But even where I live, it's like you go out and you take this first vaccine, but then they play on the news that everyone in caucus is exempt from taking this vaccine they have free will so no one else has free will they have all these ads up saying you know if and you're not a good canadian if you don't go and get this you're not a responsible good canadian if you don't go and get this shot but everyone in caucus um where i'm from has free will to take it or not like what like something doesn't add up the math doesn't add up two and two is not equaling four and you know what? The numbers don't lie. That's why I love studying sacred geometry and sacred geometry is a part of what we do here. And, you know, numbers, frequency, patterns. Aquarius studies, studies patterns. I know Aquarius moon. I mean, studying patterns like, oh my goodness, studying the pattern, studying the pattern. There's the truth. There's the truth. There's the truth. Ah, sorry. I ain't sugarcoating this for you, baby. Here it is. <clears throat> Zing. Oh, fuck. That stuff zings. It's just like that Leo, right? That Leo could come and hit you with that firepower, a high vibe Leo, and it's just like, zzz. it's like, whoa, I was burned. The light just burned me, you know? Wow, guys, this expansion is spectacular. It's spectacular. Okay, now I want to get to it. Our environments will steal heat. From us okay so this is where this is how it's working so we're over we're we're caught in silver expanding we're masculine 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 we're not honoring the feminine we need to honor the feminine rest regeneration so over expansion over expansion we're all just like ooh, our molecules they're just going you know they're lit now we have colder molecules they're not you know they're not moving like that they're they're gonna steal from us right this has to do with our environments will steal heat from us. So healing with the energy of the opposites, we're going to see the whole spectrum. And it has to do with cold will steal hot to expand with the hot because the universe is always seeking to restore the balance. So now, example, you were in a hot bath. It's super, super, super hot, okay? And of course, different substances are going to move at different speeds. So, you've got this hot bath, right? You have the door shut. It's too hot to get in. You leave the door shut. It's going to take longer for that bath to cool off for you to get in. Open up the door to the bathroom, let all the cold air help you 
to cool that bathroom off and look at how much fast that faster that bath that bath is going to be cooled off it's using science it's understanding science it's understanding we're going to be in regeneration we're going to honor the 13 spheres of knowledge we're going to protect ourselves we need to start protecting ourselves this is the message this is the message of protection and of course it goes with another message and guys there's an expanded message message so stay tuned that's connected to what what because this has to do with the pink super moon in scorpio this is connected to that we're going to destroy we're working with black moon lilith okay we're going to destroy but this destruction is has giving us an idea